So, we're talking about the Apple Vision Pros today. Let's do it. But in this case is the Apple Vision Pro that just dropped. I know you guys have been hearing a lot about it. And I just wanted to give my honest feedback about what I think about this device after having it for about four days now. But let's dive in. So first of all, I would like to say that this is not a sponsored video of any way. Apple did not send me this. I bought this with my hard earned money. So everything that I'm going to say is my opinion and nobody else's. So I'm here to give you all the pros and cons that I think over having it for a couple days brought me. So we're going to go over the cons first. Now for somebody who is in the videography realm, I'm used to spending thousands of dollars on things like lenses, camera bodies, lights, stuff like that. So I understand what it's like to have to drop a bag or two on some equipment. So when I seen the $4,000 price tag, it didn't really rattle me like it probably did a lot of people. But with that price tag, I was expecting a lot more. First, when I get something this expensive, with a price tag being 4,000, I'm expecting it to come with everything on the first drop. And I mean the basic things like everything I have on my iPhone, everything that comes on my Mac M3, or at least it being available in the App Store. And I'm not talking about third party apps. I'm talking about things like Instagram, Spotify, LinkedIn. If you're on Facebook, these are not third party apps. These are major, huge developed apps that have been around for a while. And I would think from the drop of Apple Vision Pro that they would already be available and they're not. Can I still get on those apps? Yes, I can, but I have to go through Safari. And to be honest, that's not really something I like to do. I like to have an app available for anything that I use. So I think for a $4,000 price tag, that is a huge con. Now, the fact that it's missing a lot of those things, I know a few weeks from now would be available or the next firmware update or software update, whatever, they'll probably be available. But for $4,000, I want this stuff to be available now. I don't want to wait. And that's with anything that I drop a couple of bands on. I'm expecting it to just be combined with everything that I already have on my phone. Another con is the click feature or the pinch. As you know, whatever you look at, that's where the cursor is. And when you pinch, it's like clicking the, the windows. Now for me, sometimes I have to pinch really hard or I have to use two fingers in order for it to register. And I feel like it it's kind of a little laggy sometimes. Like I have to really exaggerate that motion in order for it to respond. The battery life being two hours. <clears throat> Another thing with the battery life being two hours, I feel like is a con. Um, I would have loved to see it at least a four hour range. Now the battery is, let me actually take it out of this thing. And this is the case, by the way, this case does not come with the product. I had to buy this case separately at the Apple store for like 200 bucks. So if you're looking for this uh, soft case, I recommend it, especially for travel, but because I don't want to carry it around the box, but this is an additional, additional charge. It doesn't come with it. So the battery is this block and you connect it back here. So technically, if you wanted to have it last more than two hours, you can have a portable battery charger and just keep it connected. But I don't want to think that hard. I just want to have everything I have in this. And for a two hour battery life, to me, it's just going to be another cash grab possibly where they're selling multiple batteries or even bigger batteries in the future that most people are going to want to pay for because two hours is um, if I'm watching two two hour and a half movie is not enough to even finish the movie so um, there's that I would have loved to see the battery kind of be in the vision pro so that I can just charge the device and not have to worry about this cord or cable um, but if they're worried about overheating with this thing and and all that, I would love for my face to not overheat. So if that was Apple's compliance department, bravo, because I'm not mad about that. But I did take it to the gym today just to see the practicality of it, how it felt working out. You know, I had a motivational chest day workout from the infamous Arnold Schwarzenegger and I'm hitting cables, had a couple of influencers on the screen just to see what it feel like to get some advice or look at their workouts and try to copy it in real time. And I did have to deal with, you know, this kind of dangling. I tried to put it in the back of my head and it was still a little excess cord. I put it in my pocket and there was a time where my arm kind of got caught because I'm doing flies, but 
Um, it's not the end of the world, but I would love to have seen either a smaller cable or just another option to, to having this thing charged. Maybe having something that's just connected here that's a little bit lighter than this, but that's another one. Now, we're going to move on to the things that I love about this, the pros. I love the immersive feature. That is probably one of my favorite features on here to be able to just sit in a movie theater, a digital movie theater, and to be able to block out the world. Or if I'm watching YouTube, I can put myself in the mountains, in the desert, to just kind of black out everything that I'm surrounded by and just be fully engaged with whatever I'm watching. And it's actually something that I'm looking forward to when I travel for work, because best believe I'm taking this thing with me when I go on an airplane. I love the multiple windows feature and being able to place things throughout my house, having things like uh, cooking stuff in the kitchen to working out stuff in my garage where my gym is to entertainment stuff uh, in my living room or even sometimes where I like to lay on my back because I had a long day. I plan on just laying on my back and watching something on my ceiling, something I can just rest my neck and still be able to see TV is amazing. I feel like I have a little mini projector on my face and to be able to expand the view or draw it closer or further away is such an amazing detail for people who may not have the best eyesight. I thought that was just an amazing feature and the details are so clean. I've moved things further away and closer and the detail doesn't change. The resolution is still sharp. The next pro will be detachment. Now this will kind of be a pro and a con. I know some people are very skeptical with this basically saying that it's going to cause a lot of detachment from society and people are already so detached and you know this is just another thing that's going to hurt society's you know relational aspect and for me I feel like detachment is a pro in my opinion because I work hard I work long hours a lot of FaceTimes digital meetings in-person meetings shooting post-production just I do a lot of work. So when I come home, sometimes I want to detach. I want to watch TV, binge watch my favorite show and not think about anything else. Sometimes I want to be fully immersed in a video game and just and just be enveloped in the story and just kind of forget about some things that you may stress about in your life. So this thing detaching me from people, I don't think is a huge issue. It's kind of one of the reasons why I bought it. Now, I still feel like your cell phones will be the most thing that will detach you from reality because I don't see me having a conversation with somebody face to face and me just kind of sliding this on my face while they're talking versus and somebody's talking to you and you just kind of go through your phone and you keep looking up. I feel like cell phones still have a broader aspect of detachment, especially like I mentioned, because this thing does not have a whole lot of app options that will distract you from people. But yeah, that's that's one thing that I think could go on the cons column. But for me, it's a pro because I wanted to be detached. I feel like if you're a detached person, that was something that was already a habit in you before this even came around. So that's a you thing. That's not a us thing. So I don't want anybody to project, oh, this is just another technological advancement. Yeah, technology is always going to advance, guys. So one of the things I don't like about this whole detachment conversation is I feel like people that make the assumption that advancing technology is just going to ruin humanity are people that still buy advancing technologies. I don't see those people walking around with flip phones. I don't see those people with house phones in their house. Uh, if you're so concerned with technology advancing, then you can no longer buy anything that was made after 2020. Like that should be your homework. You should go back and only buy things that they sold at Radio Shack. And you can't even do that anymore. So I think it's everyone's personal responsibility to understand how much screen time they want for themselves and their personal family. But to just project your concerns about advancing technology on everyone is not right. And I don't think it's actually true. So yeah, that's my two cents. And one last pro that I actually tested out is I placed a screen on uh, the end of my street. And I just wanted to see how far I could walk away and still be able to see the screen. Now I walked around my entire block and it was still there. And there were even times where it was trying to connect to the hotspot on my phone so that it could keep playing the video. And when it did, I was well over a tenth of a mile away and it was still, uh, the video was still rolling. 
I think that's an amazing feature to be able to put a window somewhere you can walk away from it as long as this thing is still charged it doesn't die on you when you come back it will still be there that's pretty cool now overall I give this thing about a 7 out of 10 um, I think it's cool I think it's very hype it's not very useful for me right now in terms of just what it can do right now but that can change as the, in the months to come I'm looking forward to all the firmware updates and everything that come along with it but just out of the box ready to go I think it's more of just the hype factor being practical and useful and everything uh, I just haven't seen it uh, just show me that the usefulness of it yet I think there are going to be some updates that are going to roll out for the upcoming months but for now I don't think I would recommend the average person to buy this even if you could afford it I feel like you would just be buying it for the hype of it not necessarily for the usefulness of it so that's my video guys i hope you enjoyed what i had to say and be on the lookout for the next one peace